Uh, well, you know, pre-match we said we come here to set up defensively solid. Uh, well, yes, I mean, Lion City Sailors, you know, with the two quality players, they do create chances. But uh, yeah, I guess that first half, that one chance that Diego got free, uh, it was disappointing. But overall, you know, this boys yeah, set out what we plan to do. And they yeah, are really big congratulations to them. You said in the pre-match interview that you would try and not give too many scoring opportunities to LCS. And you did it. How? Well, definitely we need to work together as a team. I guess every one of them, including the subs today, really carry out the game plan well. Um, yeah, I, I guess, you know, with, with these young, young boys, you need to give them time. Yeah, sometimes I guess we are too impatient, we are too hasty, and we expect things to happen overnight. Yeah, um, you could see now the boys are slowly getting there. You know, um, the resilience is definitely there. And yeah, I just, like I said, I've always urged people to give time. Um, hopefully, you know, they see the, the growth in these boys and give us time. We noticed your strategy to man-to-man -to -man mark LCS players like Lestian and Lopez. What was the idea? Could you just please elaborate on that? Well, you know, the analysis team behind us, the coaches, we all saw that these two players, you know, they are quality, right? They've, they've played in Europe and yeah, as, as you can see, we try to mark them out, but they still do come behind us. Uh, but yeah, we needed to, to stop this too. And uh, I guess apart from that one chance that Diogo got free, most of the time we managed these two players. Yeah. Yeah, I, I expected a game like this. Uh, it was very complicated. They defend very good, very deep, uh, very compact. And I expected difficult game for, for today. But in the end, we were unlucky with uh, some in the last minute with the penalty and uh, I think it was a very unfortunate moment for us. It was the last second of the game, so I, I cannot say anything. It's some mistake that players can commit and it happened today, so we have to try to improve and to keep forward. Did Young Lions' defiance and the pressure they brought on in the second half surprise you at all? No, they didn't surprise me. I, I expected a game from them like this and I know that they are going to defend very, very good. And uh, we tried our best. We missed a lot of chances in the first half. And uh, then usually in the football can happen this kind of things. In the last minute, uh, you lose the concentration and you commit a foul. And, uh, and long season break coming up. Are you happy with your team's overall showing in the first round? And what are your plans for the next three weeks? And now we have to rest. We have to forget what happened in this game. and try to recover from all of this and come back and with a bit more power and try to try to play much better in the in the next part of the season. Not a win today, but how would you rate your team's performance? Yeah, um, you know, we are, we are very disappointed with the result today because we just got one point. We were looking for the three points. But yeah, we know they are they are young team, they are good players also and we expect the game like this. So yeah, we, we have to still working. What can you improve on during the season break? Yeah, we will try our best, you know, from the defender, midfielder, striker. I don't know what to tell you. This question is from the coach, you know, but we are trying to, to improve every day, every week in, the, in our home. And that's it. We are promised to the fans that we are trying our best. And that is the point.